Oh boy. is paying homage to my 2004 Mustang GT. With just a Vortex supercharger, a smaller pulley on the 100% stock 4.6 liter two valve engine, this car put down 450 wheel horsepower and was a ball of fun. Honestly, this was probably one of the best bang for your buck builds I've ever done. And I put all my favorite moments in this video to kind of show you guys exactly what you could get into when boosting your stock bottom end 4.6 liter two valve. If you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, and let's get right in. <laughs> As you can see, that 4.6 liter two valve was putting in some serious work on the stock engine. I think this is proof that you do not need the latest and greatest technology to hang with all the newer and more advanced muscle car as well as sports cars in today's day and age. All you needed was some boost, some weight out, and some balls big enough to send it on 93 octane. That wasn't even on E85. Now, I'm not gonna lie, over time, 
I started to want something a little bit newer and I knew I was eventually going to upgrade into a newer and more advanced muscle slash sports car to fit my needs. And about 10 months later, that's exactly what I did. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And behind me is my new to me 2016 Shelby GT350. I can't believe I'm saying that. Sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. I think this and the 4.6 liter 2 valve are probably the two best sounding Mustangs you can get. The Shelby GT350 is a car that I've always wanted. It checked off all the boxes. No matter which direction I took, I knew I would be satisfied. If I wanted to keep it stock, I'd be satisfied. If I wanted to do minor bolt-ons, I'd be satisfied. If I wanted to go all out and boost the car, either with a Whipple, a centrifugal supercharger, or a turbo, I would be more than satisfied. The car fits all of my needs, and it feels like a sports car slash muscle car you feel like you're inside of the car as opposed to sitting on top of the car like the 2004 mustang gt now this actually does have a lot to do with my first car that i've ever built that i actually still own which is a turbo frs and honestly i do kind of put that car as a reason as to why i transitioned from the 2004 Mustang GT into a GT350 because it felt like an FRS, but with a little bit more power and torque, as weird as that sounds. The 4.6 liter two valve, as well as the new edge platform as a whole, will always hold a special part in my heart. The sound, just the way the car feels, the raw experience definitely cannot be found in a lot of other newer sports cars, as well as a lot of other older sports cars as well. And that's why I enjoyed it. And I understand why a lot of other people still go ahead and enjoy and modify these cars to this day, including myself, at least until I went ahead and sold it to the new owner, which I do hope he enjoys the car as much as I did. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications. I'm your boy Ears, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.